Hey, what's going on, LFA TV? This is your boy, Luis. Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Really quick, right off the bat, I just want to say that this video, there's not going to be too much action. There's going to be a lot of talking. Uh, so I just want to keep you guys basically on the loop on what's kind of been going on for the last like week or two um, with the whole wiring of the car, of the harness and stuff like that with the ECU Master, uh, the EMU Classic that we have right here. Once again, right off the bat, I want to say that I am not a professional. I have never made my own custom harness, so this is actually my first attempt and kind of nerve-wracking when it comes to like, you know, a build like that. Uh, you don't ever want to just mess things up but because you have a lot at stake. But anyways, a lot of you guys were asking me to make a detailed video series of my process and my thought and exactly what I do with the harness. So basically, as you guys know, I'm running the ECU Masters uh, EMU Classic. Now, one thing that I kind of wanted to do is to get really familiar to, to figure out how to read the diagram that they give you and to kind of get to know exactly what I'm working with. So when you order one of these um, ECUs, they will come with one of these diagrams right here. Now what I did basically is next to each one of this, these pins, uh, basically 1 through uh, 24 on each connector represents a certain pin for a certain function or a certain sensor and stuff like that. So what I did is I went next to uh, pretty much the things that I was going to be using and I put a dot next to them just to remind me uh, to know what I will be wiring and in, wiring in. Now there might be one or two that I that I missed that I might still need to uh, wire in or just label just so I'm aware of it. Um, but the reason why I'm saying that I needed to get familiar with what I was working is be, working with is because there were some pinouts on here that I did not know what the heck they were. For example, one of them is w, WBOVS and WBOIP and then, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So what I did is I actually went to their website. So I went to ecumaster.com and I basically went to their website. I went uh, under ECU Masters, the classic version. And then I went under, so I did clicked on the manual and what I did over the past few days and stuff, I just kind of read and researched a lot of the stuff that they have on here because this is very important information. They give you examples of how to wire certain sensors. Um, so you just kind of go over it. You know, they even give you the, the connectors, uh, the diagram and stuff like that. Um, you know, software versions through the computer. So you got certain examples of how they wire the EMU up to your car. Um, you know, so a lot of this stuff I had to get familiar with. For example, G8, for example, means the gray plug. So you would go, you would go to your gray plug uh, connector on here. And for example, this is just an example, right? You got your gray connector, so G8 would be right there. So you got an ignition coil, number one, for example, or, you know, any other thing that they're kind of talking about. Or G18, B18, so the B stands for black connector, the G stands for gray connector, and then you kind of correspond them to the number, which uh, indicates what pin they will be uh, coming out of. And they give you an example. Uh, if you're running any fuses. So this is all stuff that I'm kind of getting familiar with and learning before I actually just jump head first to the actual wire. So another thing that I'm actually doing and just researching on all the stuff that I have, I'm actually looking up every sensor or every uh, component that I am going to be using and I'm actually looking up the pinouts and diagrams for each uh, component that I'm going to be using. For example, the throttle position sensor, uh, my coil packs. These are one ZZ FE coil packs off of a you know 90s Toyota. So, for example, these are four. These plugs have four wires. So, 
uh, this is just an example of what I've been doing. I'm looking up the wiring di diagram or the pinout. So, for example, for these coil packs, I found out that I'm not going to be using all four wires because one of them, which is pin number three, ignition feedback only works for OEM ECUs, which aftermarket ECUs do not get any feedback um, from the coils. So, the only ones I would be using would be pin four, two, and one. So, earth, ignition trigger, and power. Uh, uh, an ignition power basically for those pins so that's one thing that I'm actually uh, learning and figuring out as I go also as you guys may or may not know I was running an aftermarket wideband uh, this was an aeromotive wideband and this is actually a Bosch 4.9 sensor and another thing that I found out upon my research was that uh, EMU Classic uh, only accepts Bosch 4.2 sensors and not the 4.9s. The only ones that's compatible with both sensors is the EMU Black. So, so you guys, uh, if you guys do some research, you guys may know that the EMU uh, Classic and Black both have built-in uh, O2 sensor modules inside. So, you know, you can monitor your AFRs and stuff like that. For it, for things to be safe, you want proper uh, reading. So, um, I I can still run my wideband just like that off the downpipe and just have my gauge, you know, just how I was running. But or I could actually get a 4.2 uh, Bosch sensor and have it uh, wired up, just how it has it uh, basically down here, and they give you the pinout also for that. So another thing that I ordered or that I um, kind of looked up is I ordered a little small junction box, uh, you know, from eBay and I'll show you guys when it actually arrives. But um, as you guys, as you guys may know, all these um, components have their individual grounds and their individual uh, power supplies. So instead of having a whole bunch of wires just running everywhere into the ECU, I'm going to either put a little junction box in the back somewhere or just somewhere around the engine bay. And instead of having a bunch of wires running everywhere, uh, I'm going to have them all run into the one specific jun junction box and to be supplied with uh, either 12 volt or uh, a ground supply. And, um, you know, some of them will be connected to the ground uh, from the engine uh, somewhere and then obviously your 12 volt supply from the so yeah another thing that I need to get is actually a little small label maker and this is just gonna make everything a lot easier and just more it's just gonna make everything cleaner so that way I can know and not lose any wire and know exactly uh, what is what whenever it comes down to like just running wires everywhere um, so I actually have that on the way as well so um, yeah as you guys can see uh, over the past weeks or over the past couple of weeks I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of just planning and just kind of looking to see where I'm gonna put what and where I'm gonna run what uh, you know, there are sensors that have certain fuses that will need to be run with them, like 3 amp fuses, 5 amp fuses. So, um, yeah, I got to figure that out as well because you need the proper fuses for certain components as well. So, other than that, um, once I get everything in, uh, you know, that little junction box, I might order actually another small little fuse box as well so I could run the fuses for the specific components that need a specific fuse um, just so I could, everything could kind of be organized and I get the little label maker I'm gonna continue to do a little bit more research on certain stuff on certain components or pinouts and stuff like that uh, but other than that once I have all those stuff I am actually gonna begin the wiring so yeah uh, yeah as you guys can see there's just uh, there's a lot of planning and there's a lot of you know not hard work but just uh, patience when it comes to I'm finding out that when it comes to you know making your own uh, engine harness so 
um, you know, that's why a lot of guys out there, a lot of companies out there charge, you know, charge some good money because it takes a lot of planning. But um, with some time and patience, I believe and I, I know that I could do this. So, uh, yeah, it's a lot of talking, but I just kind of wanted to keep you guys in the loop on what the heck has been going on. Uh, you guys might be like, hey, man, what, what the heck's going on? Where's the wiring? Well, why haven't you started? So there's a bunch of research and a lot of planning to do. So, um, yeah, it's coming, guys. I promise. I promise it's coming. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I also want to say that um, I am going to be making it out to Supers in Vegas. So, uh, you know, good news. Uh, I'm going to be out there. So for those of you that are going, you know, me and Mr. Gallardo are going to be out there. So uh come and check us out i am going to be taking a couple of these shirts 7m no so the layout is going to be a little different it's going to be kind of across the chest like that instead of the whole front and um yeah i wanted to take a couple of shirts uh for you guys you know maybe you guys could uh cop one of these shirts and you know represent so uh yeah guys that's pretty that's pretty much it for this video so on to the next one peace